Fifty years ago, I was one of many readers to fall in love with Chaim Pochak's duology of novels, The Chosen and The Promise. They introduced me to Talmud, but I, a woman, was forbidden to study its contents. Decades later, enrolled in a woman's Talmud class, I was reading Davida's Heart, Pochak's only book with a female protagonist, and who should appear in the final chapters as Davida's attractive grade school classmate, the hero of The Chosen. Hmm. Fast forward to 2014. Potok's character still rattled around in my head and refused to leave. So with the idea of continuing their story, I reread the first two books. Now, a feminist, I was shocked at what short shrift the female characters received. The hero's mother, who died when he was too young to remember her, is nameless and he knows nothing about her. His Hasidic friend's mother is also nameless, although she has a minimal presence. So I decided to write the choice yet another novel I wanted to read that had not yet been written, again focusing on overlooked Jewish women. My book would be wholly transformative, giving names and backstories to the female characters inspired by Potok's work. Researching New York City in the 1900s, I was amazed to discover that Orthodox women were responsible for convincing major food manufacturers to institute the now ubiquitous OU Heksher and to learn that so few Jewish women immersed in a kosher mikveh that there were only three of them in Manhattan by 1960. Over the course of the choice, a romance naturally, my two protagonists meet secretly to study and then challenge how Torah and Talmud have been interpreted unfavorably towards women, especially regarding marriage, worship, and ritual obligations. Ultimately, they discover that they're passionate about more than Talmud, thus testing their relationships with each other and with Judaism.